Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we're looking at the new Opeth track. I just came from Become the Knights channel, uh, Mike the Music Snob. Uh, great channel, uh, follow him often. We don't always see eye to eye on every little detail, but um, broadly speaking, I like how the guy rolls and I generally agree with a lot in terms of his content. Um, I really enjoy his content and he's highly knowledgeable. Anyway, he broke the news, at least to me today, about this new Opeth track. So I've had a listen just on mobile phone, um, but I'm gonna stick the headphones in and we'll have a listen to a couple of the passages. You may have known, if you've been following my channel around about three months ago now, I posted a video kind of lamenting Opeth's kind of metal ways and the fact that you know the metal industry lost something the day that they stopped recording new heavy out and out heavy music and i gotta be honest i never thought that they'd really be back at it again i thought that's probably it you know <laughs> uh but it turns out i was wrong i'm pleasantly surprised so let's get into the track i'll play a few excerpts and we'll talk about it um because just listening to Mike's commentary, there's some interesting things about production and stuff like that we can talk about. But um, yeah, I'm keen to hear it properly uh, and yeah, get a, a fuller picture of it because it, as I said, you can't really get much through just listening to it on mobile phone speakers. So let's climb into it and see what it's like. So the intro is spooky, kind of cryptic. <laughs> um, and it reminds me, I guess, of stuff that's off the more recent records. Um, and just to be clear, I never really had a problem with tonally what they were doing on the new records. I just, I crave the heavy stuff, if that makes sense. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and just skip ahead a little. I don't wanna like be egregious when it comes to copyright and that sort of stuff. You know, after all, they've only just put this track out. So I'd rather people went to Opeth to listen to the entirety. It's a really interesting style of production, actually. Um, it's so great just to hear him growling again. He's so good at it, <laughs> you know? Uh, that was always my problem, was, you know, when that got taken away, it's not just the growls, you know, it's the overall aggression of the band. But when that got taken away, we really lost something. For me, he's just, he's one of the best death metal growls in the business. Um, so yeah, it's so good to hear that back. It's interesting what Mike was mentioning about the production style. I've really gone for um it's not it's not quite halfway between Ghost Riveris and uh say something like um Heritage or something like that. I would say it's actually closer to the kind of heritage style in a lot of ways. Um you know, they're trying to keep a lot of the a lot of the they're letting the drums breathe, you might say, in a lot of ways. It's still pretty punchy. This is maybe a little bit tighter when it comes to what they're doing with compression and gating. I get what he says about the dry sound. Um, they stuck with quite a dry sound. Um, so far, anyway, uh, there's a bit of room ambience, but not too much. Um, I'd probably prefer it a little bit more towards a kind of old school Blackwater Park, that kind of thing. Um, 
but this still sounds pretty good. I, I'm less concerned with the production style because I know why they did it. I know that they wanted to go more towards a more organic sound. Probably a little bit more what the band sounds like live in a room, if that makes sense. Um, and have it just less processed, less kind of loudness, if that makes sense, for loudness sake, which is a staple of metal, to be honest. And everything sounds very, very precisely compressed and loud these days anyway. Um, so I know for a long time they just wanted to kind of break free of that. Um, but yeah, that kind of stuff, it doesn't bug me so much as long as the composition has what it needs. So, you know, for me that's the main thing. That's gnarly. <laughs> That's really gnarly. I hear what Mike's saying about the clean vocals in that one passage. Yeah, it's kind of like it's a little different stylistically, um, but it's not too outside the box for me. I'm uh, pretty comfortable with that. He kind of likened it to power metal. I wouldn't go that far, but yeah, I can kind of see what he means. Skip ahead a little bit. I'm gonna be fast with this one. place who that reminds me of <laughs> but it sounds familiar it sounds kind of familiar stylistically sounds familiar look overall I think this track is really cool it's really promising it's got real fresh elements that I haven't heard from Opeth before it's got that gnarly aggression to it but spun differently so it's like a breath of fresh air I'm really excited I'm really excited for this track um, I'm gonna link this in the description and um, go ahead and check it out Give it a full listen. I'd love to know your thoughts. Do come back here. Leave us a comment, or if you've heard the track already, I'd be really keen to hear what you think. But yeah, I'm super excited. I hope this isn't just one song, or like one or two or three, you know, and then the rest are like super mellow. Hopefully, this kind of thing carries through to the rest of the record. Also, I'd be really interested to hear from Akfeld as to what the motivation was, like why they're coming back to doing the heavier stuff again. Um, yeah, just out of curiosity. I really respect the guy as an artist, respect the band. So yeah, just keen to hear, you know, what changed. <laughs> but yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comments, guys. Until next time, take care.